Hello, Intro to Ethics. Um, Grant Yoakum, your instructor. Uh, I'm recording a very quick video uh, going over the first test, which is due Wednesday, October 9th by 12 p.m. That is noon. Um, it's, I've included a lot of boilerplate um, from the uh, syllabus on the first page of the assignment page, well, on the page, the assignment page. Um, the section test, basically, I'm having you write two short essays of um, 250 to 350 words, 10 points each, a total of 20, and this is the first of three of these tests. Um, the plagiarism policy uh, from the welcome video, uh, you know all about that, how seriously I treat it, and um, don't do it. Uh, if you're unsure about uh, plagiarism and how to avoid it, and what it is, and when you need to cite what when, how, um, etc. cetera, uh, go to follow the link on the course syllabus uh, to uh, the, uh, the, the Kresge library page that takes you through site right. There's a, a plagiarism avoidance tutorial there. It's actually quite good uh, with lots of examples. Um, so uh, you even get a reference style out of that one too, um, uh, the one appropriate to your uh, discipline. Um, uh, missed assignment policy, uh, basically this means that uh, if you want an extension, uh, you have to be granted one from me. It involves a conversation. Don't assume you've got one. Uh, I understand that life happens and I'm very forthcoming uh, with extensions. Apologies, I'm monitoring children while shooting this video. Um, so uh, it's either let me know uh, if you're going to miss the assignment deadline uh, before the deadline or within 12 hours of it. You'll find me very forthcoming with this with good excuse. Um, it's just a matter of uh, it, it, I need to be in the loop about when my papers are coming in. Um, also, if I have too many extensions that I've granted, uh, understand that this slows down the grading for everyone because I don't start grading until I've got them all. So um, try try not to need one, manage your time. Um, assignment submission, make sure I've got it, make sure I've got the right document, make sure it actually uploaded. If you're not sure, email me a backup. Um, if I don't have it, it's not there. Um, and uh, like I say, two short, short essays, 250 to 350 words based on the prompts that I'm gonna go over now. Um, format requirements, uh, one inch margins, that's, you know, standard, right? Don't make them bigger in order to meet, meet word count. Don't make them smaller in order to achieve word count. Um, I count words. Um, so uh, in MS Word, that's margin set to normal, right? Double space, uh, it's just easier on the eyes and use a 12 point font. Um, these eyes are getting old. Um, a 12 point font is pretty well a minimum these days. Um, note that these are not research essays, um, but it rather expository essays. So all you should need are um, like your books, right? Your notes, the video material that I've given you, and um, you, you think through the material, right? That's all you should need. But if you do use external sources, understand that I need you to properly reference anything you paraphrase summarize any idea you grab from anywhere else if it's a quote put it in quotation marks and tell me where to find it quoted material should only be used as evidence for your claims and uh, also use a recognized uh, reference style APA MLA and Chicago are the three most commonly used ones so that's why I refer to them here do what's comfortable for you um, but do it consistently I don't care which just so long as you're consistent. Don't just invent a reference style, use an actual one. Um, if you're looking for um, a guide uh, for how to uh, properly cite and reference your work, uh, Google search OWL Purdue, O-W-L Purdue, as in the university. That's the online writing lab at Purdue University. Uh, they have um, sort of shortened versions of the current style guides that are actually quite good for APA, MLA, and Chicago. That's why another reason I mentioned them there. Um, submit in .doc, .docx, or PDF format uh, via Moodle before or on the due date time. 
that sort of thing. Um, that'll it save me a lot of teeth grinding uh, because I need to be able without a whole lot of effort to open your assignment. Um, I it, The only way I can open a Pages di uh, document, if it's in Pages, is by opening it on my iPhone. And I don't like to read a document like that. Just, just it, it will annoy me, and you don't want me annoyed um, while I'm grading your assignment. So, um, if you are using Pages, I'm not saying you've got to buy Microsoft Word or a PDF generator or anything along those lines. Um, Pages itself has a save as, and you can pick a file format. Um, so, um, do that and subscribe to the file format that we're talking about here. Um, typical essay format, uh, sandwich, introduction, body, conclusion, very brief introduction because these are short. Um, so um, it, do that. Right? So these are actual essays, not just a few paragraphs. Um, and uh, it, it, it note that these prompts ask you to do a few things. I've tried to use bold type to isolate the action words and that sort of thing. I do a bit of explaining what I'm talking about in part of the prompt. Um, it, that's for your reference to help you, um, to direct you to page references, that sort of thing. Um, but nonetheless, um, it isolate the action commands in the prompts and make sure to do everything I ask you to. So, um, two questions, one on Socrates and um, one on Aristotle. Um, uh, note in Socrates, I, I don't actually ask you to engage with the credo, I'm just being easy on you, um, but um, it's an interesting argument that does relate, so if you find a way to bring it in, that's fine. Um, so. Central idea in ethics from Socrates, he presents us with an epistemological, that's theory of knowledge, position, uh, in which we're only able to make a negative claim to knowledge, right? He, he's the wisest man in Athens. Why? Because he knows that he knows nothing, right? That's the only closest thing to a positive knowledge claim that he can make, right? However, Socrates is able to make positive moral claims that stem from this negative claim to knowledge. First, discuss the intellectual movement from epistemology to ethics that makes this possible. Right? That's the, the first, just explain this position to me. Um, I go over it in detail in my video, uh, and it should sort of by now be jumping off the page in the apology from you, for you. Right? Next, discuss how this understanding of ethics leads Socrates to argue that his philosophical practice is not only useful, but vital to the democracy in Athens. Right? Um, the, the, what I'm referring to there is uh, the gadfly argument, um, but there are, there are other things that you can uh, tease out of the apology as well. I don't need that to be exhaustive, but you need to respond to that portion of the question in an intelligent way that makes sense in terms of the material. So a variety of responses are acceptable, though I did um, direct you just now to the gadfly argument, so that might be handy to you. I discussed this in my video material as well. Right. So that's the first one, 10 points. Um, uh, the second one relating to Aristotle, I go straight to the linchpin argument um, in the Nicomachean Ethics, begin by briefly discussing the function argument, uh, discussed by Aristotle in Book 1 of the Nicomachean Ethics. Right. After introducing this argument, discuss uh, how Aristotle arrives at his definition of happiness by way of this argument. That, that, that was initially how he presented the purpose of it. Right. Next, offer a brief account of virtue of character. Right. This is the central idea in Book 2 of the Nicomachean Ethics. Right. In Book 2, Section 4 of the Nicomachean Ethics, Aristotle argues that virtuous actions are by themselves not sufficient to develop virtuous character. And it's, it, he sets it up that uh, how do we develop virtuous character through practice by repeating the same sorts of actions over and over and over again until they become habitual. But that's not enough. Here, Aristotle adds three requirements, insisting that, quote, the agent must also be in the right state when he does them. That's Aristotle, page 22. So if you're looking for where Aristotle argues this, it's page 22. 
right? Um, or book two, section four, right? So this is what I need you to do with that. Define state, right? Seeing as how he just used it in that sentence, the agent must also be in the right state when he does them. What does Aristotle mean by state? Annoyingly, he doesn't define this until um, section five of book two, right? So you do a better job than Aristotle. Define the term before you use it, right? And then briefly discuss the three requirements introduced in section four um, of book two by Aristotle. 10 points, right? Should be fairly straightforward, right? Um, I isolated and discussed at length the, uh, the function argument, it's the linchpin, right, of the first book. A virtue of character is the main idea in book two of the Nicomachean Ethics, which um, we discussed, well, extensively, right? Um, and this is an interesting and important um, addition that Aristotle makes right, to his notion of the development of character that we'll be referring back to later in this course. So um, it's important that you wrap your head around um, these three conditions, right? Um, so briefly discuss those three conditions, right? Um, so your responses to uh, this assignment will be uh, evaluated by these criteria that I've been using for the dog's age. They're fairly standard. Um, first off, uh, when you're writing generally in academe, don't write to impress using big words to bamboozle people and make them think you're so smart because they don't quite understand you. Rather, just simple, direct, when you use technical terminology, define it and use it sparingly. All right? So be clear. So clarity of your response. Could Joe Schmo off the street pick up your paper and understand what the heck you're talking about? That's what I'm looking for here. Completeness. I ask you to do a few things in both of these essay prompts. Did you do those things or did you let one go? Right? And if you let one go, that's, that's well, it's an incomplete response. Right? So I can only grade what's here. Right? Um, uh, understanding exhibited in your uh, use of the course material. Like, do you get it? Right? Um, do you get the way that these arguments relate to one another? Right? tried to lay it out as clearly as possible, work through it. Um, I know this material can be hard and probably needs to be read a few times in order to make sense of it. Uh, and the strength of your argument where required or the insight into the course material, um, you know, it's where, where, where I required an argument, do that. Um, or did you have insight, right? Um, those are the questions. So um, I look forward to reading your responses. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, please email me. Um, I'm doing my best to keep up with email right now, uh, but um, I do fall behind. Uh, so please be patient as well. Um, uh, good luck, have good days, one for each of you. Take care.